whole lot better way to do this. But it's my first time doing this, so bear with me. So this is last week's spread. And since I'm going to print this planner, I did, um, if it's going to be in book form, one side is going to be this creative and then this is going to be the other side. Now I did start on next week's, but here's something I want to show you. Whenever I think of a layout I want to work with, I keep it in the layout section here and I start creating basically. So this is not for this week, but I kind of thought of it real quick and so I wanted to keep it. So all I'll do is I'll copy this page over to my week. This is another one. Now this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are actually my stickers. So if we go into my weekly stickers. The one I'm using on that page is these right here. Hold on a second. I'm actually using these right here. But these are standalone, just scripted weekly as well. And then, so I did that for some other time. Um, this is one I had used last year. And then this, I love. So this is like a very editorial page and the word says different. So one side says diff, 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 and the other side says rent. And if you see them together in a book form, you'll see that they kind of go together. So I did that yesterday. And in here it says, that feeling of being different is really what makes us the same. So I wanted to, I don't know what I'm gonna write at the bottom here, but I'll write something in regards to me, I guess. I don't know. And then this is another layout that I did back in November and I really liked and then December that I really liked. So I just keep them there to kind of like help me figure out how to set up a weekly. So we'll go back to January. Now a lot of these stickers again like these video ideas and this calendar setup is all part of my Instagram stickers. So you can find this at my shop. So no idea where I last left off because my camera died. <laughs> Lovely. So what I was saying was that this is a, this right here, this little box is a sticker. This top three is an actual sticker. Um, what else here? There are some that are here that I use from other kits, but um, a lot of these, and as you can see, that's my Etsy shop. So I wanted to document and highlight that I reopened the Etsy shop. And um, let me show you those stickers real quick. So these are the Instagram specific stickers. And then we have the business stickers, which look like this. So I just have like some things that you might do on your busy work week. And I have some illustrations there. And here's that top three sticker, a to-do sticker, a quote, kind of like boxy sticker. And then here are like Instagram reels and posts, kind of like what you saw in the um, in the Instagram specific ones. So I use kind of like a mix of that. But what I wanted to show you was next week. So I got this from one of the planner people that I follow. I got this idea from, it's supposed to say cardio and like weight training because that's what I want to do for the week. But she had it laid out in like this little section What and what she did was she dotted these. So let's say I use a pink with the highlighter tool. She actually made, okay, that's, um, she actually made like little dots like that so that you can go and check in. But I'm going to do that with actual like stickers because this page is so dark. But um, what I wanted to show you is that when I plan a layout, so I pick the page and then I figure out the stickers that I want and then I paste the stickers on another page. So for this week, I want to number my days. So I'm going to, this is like my scrap paper that I use behind any layout that I do and then I'll obviously delete it later. But this helps me pull the text in here, fix them and do all of that. So right now I want all of these dates I'm gonna grab these images. I'm gonna go ahead and copy. And then I'm gonna go over to my actual page and put them in place. Now, of course, when you grab and you lasso all of them, you can change the size 
for all of them at once. We're gonna go with that and just fix these up. I want all of these on some kind of corner here. Alright, and now I want to pull in this decor piece here. Bring it in here. And I want to place this, and these are two separate stickers. So if I go like that and I move the top one, you'll see that this is a one by itself. If I move this one, I'm going to pull that to the edge and kind of layer these two like that but do a little bit more like that and then bring the flower in just a little bit more kind of like that and actually i'm going to probably make this just a little bit bigger So I have like a little corner piece and my next thing was let me bring these two images here. So I kind of wanted to do this for today because I'm not really journaling. There's, I don't have much going on for today. So I just wanted to add this sticker here. I know this week is going to be pretty busy, but today is kind of light work, which is Monday the 17th. And once I have it there, then I start seeing that my numbers look a little bit off. So I'm going to just change them, just bring them up a little bit. Or maybe this is too big. It's probably, and you're not always going to be satisfied with the, the way this stuff looks at the beginning. So just, you know, give yourself some grace and fix them. And one of the techniques that I learned from Lux Book Planner, so I want to line everything up, I just draw a line and make sure that the items kind of line up. So this one, as you can see, is a little further away. So I'm going to grab this image and move it closer to the line. And then what you do is just, eat. when you satisfy, just go ahead and erase the line and that's it. So I think I like them kind of like that, just like kind of hanging out. And then my images over here, there are two images. So if I tap on the image button, you'll see that that one's um, one of them. And so what I'm going to do is probably put this here as kind of like a header, but like not really. And then I'm going to move this guy over like that. And then I feel like it's clashing with the other one. So I'm going to bring it down a little more. And then just kind of figure out a place. Because I want this to have kind of like a to-do list, which I probably won't do in this video because I don't know what that is yet. <laughs> so now I'm going to grab somewhere around this area. I actually wrote text for this page which just says this week and I'm going to place it over here somewhere and now that that's there I don't like the way this looks here maybe that text is too big and then maybe move these two things over boom okay so I kind of have like a working layout um, I'll have a final product on my Instagram at plan with KG which is a different um, Instagram that I use for planning I'm gonna pop it up on the screen so you can see what it I ended up doing but now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab some of this dummy text 
that again Lux Book Planner has provided us just so that I can see this in its full like um, just so I can see this the way it's gonna look somewhat let me see which one I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab this one right here I'm gonna copy it and again I'm gonna go back to my scrap paper because for some reason this is happening and I can't stand it now I have to resize this and then pull it out a little more go back to the page to see how much of that see it's too much going to do is I'm going to make this white and I'm going to go ahead and there's nothing else on here that's text I'm gonna go ahead and copy it I'm gonna paste it over here and I'm going to move it into my boxes and once I have like the first one done and again I'm not a hundred percent sure if everything's gonna look the same way um, once the week comes up because I don't know if I'm going to like today I didn't want to journal really um, or write down anything that I had to do because I don't really have anything to do so I don't like write that there so I just ended up using just the stickers as just says first coffee and like I said once I have everything as the week goes by then I'll start adding things in here so now I really want a to-do list, like a top three. The only problem is that, well, it's not a real problem, but um, my top three is dark and this page is already dark. So it's just going to, well, let's try it. So I'm gonna grab my um, top three sticker, which again, if you saw in my layout, it looks fantastic here, but we're gonna try it on a black page and maybe see what that looks like. And I actually think it looks good. I like it. So I'm going to move these two stickers, these two back stickers, and I'm going to cut and I'm going to paste so that they become the top. And now, because I have this sticker here, and you can tell that this black page is different from this one, so you can actually see that it is a sticker. But now that I have them here, I don't particularly care for the way this looks. Hmm. Let's make it a little bigger. But it already has a heading that says top three. So I think what I'm gonna do is cover it. So I'm going to move this guy and I'm going to cover the top three heading with my images. Can make this a little bit bigger. Like that and then fix this so it extends just a little bit further out. See, now it looks better and now this is on my nerves. See, it's always something. Um, when you do these planning on video, you don't exactly know where stuff is gonna go until you lay it out. Um, but so far, I think this might be it. This might look as this might look super simple, but I kind of dig super simple. Um, let's move this image up just a little bit. I kind of dig the simplicity of this page. Here I'll write, um, I'll bring in my text tool and I'll just write top, top three. And then, and I'll do like that, boom. And again, this can change. Um, by the time it goes on my Instagram, it might probably look completely different. I'm not 100% sure. But for now, I kind of like it. And then what I'll end up doing is either doing a second page. So when I print it out, I have like two pages like this. 
Um, but I'm kind of digging that. So let me know down in the comments below. This was a super quick, um, simple tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you liked it and what you'd like to see me do next on the planner. Um, I wanted to show something, but I forgot what it was. Oh. So these right here, this is my vision board. So this is my goals page. And this is my life goals and my five year plan. So I'm gonna do all of my life goals and then break all the life goals into the five year plan and then break it down even further. And I got this idea from Pinterest, obviously, because Pinterest is the shit. Um, break it down into daily goals. And this is the little thing that comes with it. It says the life, life goals. You, write down what your life goals are then what you're going to do in five years and then what you're going to do daily to achieve your life goals basically and so i kind of want to write my daily goals out and as you can see i haven't done it but this bucket list is available for free um again go to my instagram plan with kg and it, it'll be under freebies you can go ahead and download that um so this is my word of the year which this is just dummy text i really haven't written anything which i need to sit down and kind of like do all of this eventually this is another freebie so this you can use every month um, you can add it's gonna say goals and it's going to be blank on these sides and then you write down whatever your, your five categories are that are important to you um, mine are personal growth business health family finances it kind of goes back to my life goals and then you can just write the month and then you can just add it to whatever spread you're doing uh, for that month and this again is free so I wanted to show that. Let me see what else I wanted to show. I mean, that's it for now. Um, I may do a video specifically on my 2021, 2020 and 2021 planner because I kind of combined them since I started planning late. But this is my social media and I wanted to show you this page. So this page I use every week is called This Week on Social. So post on social media and this sticker right here that has the daily checklist is all part of, again, those Instagram stickers. They, it can help you if you create reels. It can help you. Uh, you can add this to your social media page and then kind of check off um, kind of like this. You would just check off, you know, recorded footage. Did you edit? Did you save the phone? Add on caption? All the you know the simple checklist of what it means to create a reel and then you can write in your own checklist if these aren't doesn't pertain to you you can write in your own and the same thing with the daily checklist for instagram and um just any ideas that you may have and may come to your mind you can write them out here again available in the shop and then these are just some images that you can add to your social media feeds that was all i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i don't really do videos like this where i'm showing just the ipad but it's a first and it was requested so here i am providing so i'll see you again next tuesday for another tech new out video